Ready, go. So during the back swing, this is simply a turning around, and I don't see this shift away. So if you add a little bit of shift initially, mm -hmm. slide shift away and then turn, that will give a lot more comfortable body motion pattern. But instead of this, it's just a turn from there. Yeah, this leg turns because mm. You do have a left leg action before you start. Yeah, yeah. The left leg is slightly pushing this, but the, with that, shift a little bit. And when you when you shift to the right with the left leg action, go to this position. The right knee is slightly flexed. From there, if you push the ground, then you'll be able to have good support from the right leg. So in order to have this good support, you must have initial shift and then bending of the knee slightly. From there, push up here. So it's almost like I'm just pushing straight away. Yeah. yeah. Instead of going here and then push. Yeah. So uh, when you use your right leg more, then you have a full control of uh, what you're doing. Uh -huh. Yeah. So your left leg is active at the beginning of the back swing. Uh -huh. So uh, stay here. Stay here. So you want my first move just to be in. Yeah. Here. Yeah. And then push the ground with the right leg. Yep then naturally you'll be able to recenter easily. Yes. Hmm. So now, in order to uh, promote that, let's use the step drills. Okay. So let's start with the stage three, no step. Just use your regular stance. Okay. I don't, I don't know all the stages. I just, I just do the... Hmm. So just uh, use, step your, and one use your regular stance, no step. Okay. But throw the club this way. Now, here. When you throw the club, this will promote good backswing. So this should be reasonably rigorous. It doesn't have to be really big, but uh, it can go about this high here. Uh -huh. But try to use your body to uh, okay. throw this and then bring it back. Yes, yes. Now. Let's go to your initial string here. So club head is going about this much here. Mm -hmm. Before this is completed, you're already pulling it down. Mm -hmm. So the transition is uh, rushed. Mm -hmm. But when you just did the, with the trigger motion, it went up, the club went a bit more, yeah, and I you had more that. time up yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> so again, stage three again. Yeah. So with the trigger motion, and then when you start the back swing, automatically you will have to shift. Yeah, because you need the... Yeah, from, from this position, you are starting the back swing. So you have to shift the first and then turn around. Yeah. It's like this right here. Mm -hmm. So naturally you will be able to shift away. And then when you push the ground with the right leg well, then what happens is now your body is recentering. Re with that you have enough back swing here. Yeah, so uh, again, active trigger, and then bring it fast. Yeah. So then all you need to, all you need to pay attention to is decelerate this motion, mm -hmm. change the direction, and then let it go. Okay. No need to about what you do or the how much you have to go. Uh -huh. Just the, use the flow, and then make the motion continuous. Yes. No, still... Uh, Stage three. Yeah. So try to feel the flow. Don't, don't try to, uh, you know, rush or try to dominate. Just to follow the flow. Mm -hmm. And then so all you need to pay attention to delivering the club head to where the ball is, right? Currently, your backswing is really good. Again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So keep good shoulder turn in the back swing. And from there, on the way down, let it go. So let's repeat this five times. Stay three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three. Four. Now, this becomes quite uh, natural as you repeat, yeah. as if uh, you were doing from the beginning, right? So this motion is uh, using the natural uh, movement pattern, so nothing uh, new, yeah. nothing you need to work on hard, because it's so, uh, you know, so simple and uh, obvious. Yeah. So all you need is have a good backswing, fast backswing. Using that momentum, have enough wind up. And from there, if you have good uh, recentering, then you'll have enough time for the left leg, you know, to be uh, prepared for the downswing, and then let it go. Again, stage three. Mm -hmm. Now, let's do a horizontal swing. So this time, keep the body upright, and then do the same thing. Stage three, swing. And then keep the hands a bit lower, and then you can keep the clavet a bit higher here. So make sure that the hands are staying about here. Okay. If the hands go out too much on the way down, then it becomes an arm swing here. Okay. So on the way down, swing the, with the, the hands about here. Okay. So keep the body upright. Mm -hmm. Again. So up to this point, this is no different from stage three. Now here's uh, one more dimension. As you approach to the end of the backswing, give a little bit squat here. With the squat and shift to the left. And then start the downswing by kicking the ground with the left leg. Yes. Again. So squat a bit more. Really try to, try to use the left leg. Yes. See? <laughs> it's getting faster. So that extra speed is coming from the left leg action. So in the downswing, if you can use the left leg more actively, then you have additional speed. So again, horizontal swing. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that. Yeah. So do a stage three, uh, the, do the horizontal swing. Let me record this. And then at the end, give more time. No need to rush. So keep enough wind up. And then, then you'll have more time for uh, squatting and uh, shifting, right? OK, ready, go. Yeah. So the whole idea here is have a bit more time. With that, you will squat your body. So lower your body a little bit and then shift to the left. And then you are ready for the downswing. And by kicking the ground with the left leg and then swing hard. Yeah. So now let's go to stage three again. So you need to have something similar. So the only difference is the angle here. Let's, let's do the same thing. So uh, toward the end, lower the body a little bit, and the way down, pushing the ground, and then let it go. Hmm. So this is uh, the, what, uh, what you want to see uh, in the stage three. Okay. okay. So again, stage three, uh, three, three of them. Practice. Mm-hmm. So try to activate your left leg more. Mm -hmm. Now, so let's take a look at what you're doing. I guess 
smiling today. It's the first time I've seen you smile. <laughs> So this was your initial swing. So more shifting, sliding this way, but not much vertical action here. Now with the horizontal swing. And then when you use the leg action, instead of going in this way, it's better to either keep it this way here. So instead of moving the knee in this way, mm -hmm. just a flex and then push. So no need to uh, turn this way too much. Okay, so when, I go so when back, you, I just kind of hold it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So then the pelvis will turn about uh, 45 degrees. Here. When the knee is goes in, then you tend to turn your pelvis too much. Oh, okay. Mm. So try to keep the knee about here instead you of going don't want in. To turn it too much. Too much. No, it's a. So generally, when you interact. What's the downfall of turning it too much? When the pelvis uh, turns too much, imagine the, the swing plane is uh, inclined here. Uh -huh. Your pelvis tends to uh, turn a bit flatter than then, uh -huh. particularly when you have a more turn, then it becomes a flatter. Uh -huh. So then as the pelvis turns this way, it's moving away from the swing plane. Mm -hmm. And then so it's, instead it's here, efficiency. here's the axis here. Everything is turning around the axis, then pelvis also have, has to have a similar mm -hmm. turn here. Then it has to have a lateral tilt mm -hmm. and then rotation at the same time. Mm -hmm. Then uh, it will automatically limit the, the rotation. Mm -hmm. If you have a flat turn, then you, that means you don't have that much lateral tilt. Mm -hmm. So try to bring the, uh, this high side high. If the, this hip moves up, mm -hmm. this goes down. With this, if you uh, rotate, then this is it. You maintain the integrity. Mm -hmm. like this is a reasonable, yeah, reasonable amount. So your focus is keeping the right hip up, left hip down, lower, and then rotate, then the knee will be about here. Mm -hmm. No need to go in there. So again. So if I'm all the way over here, then what brings you back to the left side is pushing this way. That's the right leg, yeah. When you push the ground with the right leg, then push and then. You almost fall out. Mm -hmm. So you, you gotta have the right leg. So turning is not important. So what's important is uh, pushing the ground and uh, bringing the hip up with that turning here. Mm -hmm. So always the turn motion is, should come from good the push. Mm -hmm. Turn here and then turn here. That, that extension piece, mm. why is that important to get? Then you can use the right leg to start the, this motion yeah. and then you will be able to load onto this side. That's the main purpose. But if you stay on this side here, then it's hard to uh, shift the yeah. body that's this way. You feel like you're like this good with that. Sorry. Sorry, that's where you feel like this good with that a little bit. Yeah. So, so this, this leg going in extension, that yeah. goes to the spine. Yeah. And then, the back this and then go move this way slightly. Uh -huh. And then from there, by pushing the ground with the left leg, and then turn here. Uh -huh. really that right so because we have two legs here, uh -huh. if you just uh, try to spin, then it's hard. But you if, if, if you shift to the one side or the, uh, to the side you're turning to, shift and then turn, then you're pretty much turning around the hip joint here. Uh -huh. and if you want to turn this way and then shift here and then turn this way, uh -huh. it's a lot easier. And also you can use the muscles better. Yeah. But if you, do, you know, this is awkward when you try to move both hips forward and backward uh -huh. and try to generate this, this rotation. Yeah, reverse it. Yeah. So, when you have to turn to right, then try to turn around the right hip. When you have to turn left, then try to turn around the left hip. So again, stage three. Yes. Now, because you had a good recentering motion, that's why you can use your left leg. Yeah. Yeah. So. When you have good shift away and the recenter, uh -huh. then all you need to do in the downswing is just pushing the ground hard with the left leg and the turn around the left hip. Yeah, that, that's the best feeling. Yeah. When, when, in the last two years, ever since doing the step drill, I didn't exactly know what I was doing. So maybe day in and day out, it's a little bit different. Yeah, the shift. Best, the best days I had, like when I was leading the tour event, my thought that week was step on the right, and then 
almost like I almost picked this up, and then big step on the left. So that, that's all I felt. So when you, your shift is uh, uh, good in terms of timing, uh -huh. all you need is uh, when you turn, just to push the ground hard and then turn. Yeah. But if this shift is not done, then while you are Something turning, you have to shift it yeah. with, with it, then it becomes awkward, then you, you tend to use your arms. So when you have shift done earlier, then it's a leg push and then turn around. But if the shift is not done early enough, you have to use your arms. Because your, your lower body is in awkward position. Yeah. So you have to use your upper body, arms, to try to swing hard. So again, that one was really good. So good shift away and the recenter during the back swing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the reason why, so the reason why in the regular swing, you have to start with the shift is that with the shift and then push, then with the shift motion, now the right knee is flexed. Uh -huh. So it's easy to push the ground. Uh -huh. With this push, you are introducing the recentering motion uh -huh. automatically. Then this is done during the back swing. Then on the way down, you simply push the ground with the left leg and then swing through. Yeah. Yeah. So more than anything, as we practice this stage three, uh -huh. make sure you use your right leg really well. Yeah, that just okay. seems to be very important. Shift and then push and then shift the, shift back this way. The, the left is, if I'm in good position in transition right here, the left is pretty easy. Mm. Like yeah. the more the better. The yeah, left. yeah, yeah. So you don't reach out. Yeah. Instead of reaching out, you're already by using this uh, recentering motion, go out in the recentering motion. You're already in good position was kicking, pushing the ground, and then swing. But if you're staying here, and then try to swing, yeah, yeah. you have to use your arms. I felt that mm -hmm. yeah. So the key is uh, having good shift early enough. For that, the leg action is really important during the back swing. Yep. So almost before the club comes down, you feel it Yeah, yeah, yeah. That recentering is done during the back swing. Yeah. Yep. Do you, do you feel like your shoulders are still closed by the time you're squatting left? Keep the shoulders closed, your back toward the target. Yes. And then in one, one motion, just to turn around and throw the arms and club. Yeah, so again, stage three. Yes. So when you have a good shift, recentering, re in the downswing, you don't have to worry about shifting this way. No. Simply push the ground and then swing through. Yeah. Let me record this. The best, like, freest stop while playing is if all I have to do is push up. So, hmm. so ready, so stage three, and then tr just to try to uh, have a good trigger and then fast enough backswing and the good wind up. And then in, in doing that, you have shift away and the recenter, right? Yeah. So ready, go. Hmm. So that's a good flow. More than anything, you, you shouldn't do anything intentionally. You shouldn't force yourself to do certain things. So let me take one here. Okay, ready, go. Yeah, you see the flow? Because you have good shift away and the recenter. You don't have to do much in the downswing other than pushing the ground and the turning. Okay. And then also you have more time up here. Yeah. Now let's go back to your initial swing. You see? Yeah. You, it's kind of you like go here and then pull it down. Rush at the top mm. because I'm not over here now. Yeah, yeah. So you just uh, you go about here and then try to pull it down. Yeah. It's, it's obvious here. Mm. Now, because you're using the lower body, you will have more time up there. Yeah. 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 So no need to body. rush. Yeah.
The only thing is that I see the tendency of uh, sort of uh, elbow in here. Mm -hmm. So this is something uh, called the stuck elbow. So from the top here, from the top, and then here's the impact position, then try to use this uh, uh, highway, expressway here, instead of having detour, I try to go this way. Shallowing is uh, reasonably done during the downswing automatically, so you don't have to have intentional shallowing. Mm -hmm. That means you go up here, you don't have to pull it down that much. So from here to the impact position here, just the expressway instead of a detour and having a traffic light and they're going this way. So on the way down, if your elbow stays back here, that means that you came down and then tried to swing this way. But from here, instead here, just let it go. So the, your arm motion shouldn't be obstructed by your body. Okay? So from here to impact position here, just let it go straight instead of one thing I noticed too in that, in those swings, the difference is sometimes I had, um, I kind of go like this a little bit, but that's, but in that video right there, my, I use uh, my boots a little bit more, like, like, looks like my head came under, is that because I push off the left harder? So, when the elbow comes down this way, you have to make a room here. Yeah. You have to move your, uh, then your elbow can come here. Okay. So that's why I'm, uh, bring up this issue so well. from here if you just uh, let it go then your right elbow will move in front of the body mm -hmm. but if it comes to the side here you have to move this way here to make a room here so that causes a trouble in terms of how you move your lower body yeah so just well, that, and that probably happens because I didn't have this time before because you go up here, you're pulling the arm yeah, down. That's, I'm, that's I'm what right happens. Here, so I need to pull it to mm -hmm. come in front. Mm -hmm. So now you have more time. Go up here, more time, right? Yeah. From here, simply go, to, go uh, straight to the impact position uh -huh. instead of try to bring it down. And there's a the right elbow stuck here. Right elbow has to clear the body and then move in front of the body. Again, okay. stay three. So state three, from the top to uh, impact, try to use the expressway instead of detour. Again. When you use more expressway, hmm. it just feels like the arms go in front of the body like this. Yeah, and then, and then try then to have the feel of uh, spinning this way. So swing and then let it go this way. So when this happens, when this happens here, you tend to swing this way. But if you go straight from here to here, swing and turn around. I also get a lot of back pain from that person we showed you. Lags, they light up. So it's okay to bring the hands a bit close to your body here. Straight path to here. That right elbow will clear the body. And then when you keep the hands close to your body, then naturally you will turn more this way. And then let it go. You can turn this way. Because the swing plane is inclined here, mm -hmm. you have to use a good combination of uh, rotation about this axis and also this axis. Mm -hmm. So, uh, And also another way to uh, another way to solve that problem is if you rely on the right side that happens always if you pull the right side down then you always have this situation so put your hand on the belt and then during the back swing using the left arm and try to point the side there yeah so from here and then you will recenter right mm -hmm. from here by using the left shoulder and throw the left arm instead of try to pull the right arm down. So that's, that will give you better path here. Yeah. If you engage your left arm a bit more, uh -huh. so go up here from here, swing this way, yeah. instead of pulling this. Sometimes like the original video that took, like my head goes this way a lot. Mm. Do you like a head release? 
No, you, you, your head can turn about the, this axis here, uh -huh. turn this much, and then you have a peripheral uh, vision uh -huh. on the ball. And swing near the impact, now you have a straight direct gaze. And then swing, and then moving the head is OK. Yeah. That's probably better for your body, right? Mm. My left eye dominant, so sometimes I like to go like this. Yeah, if you keep the head there, then it's uh, limiting the turn yeah. leftward. Yeah. yeah. That, that's one of the hardest things to work on. I think maybe this off season I'm going to try yeah. that though. Yeah, so you are still uh, bound to uh, this side here, yeah. and then try to turn here. Yeah. So you cannot turn this way here. Yeah. You have to turn, throw the arms this way. Yeah. But here, on the way down, you gaze the ball direct, directly, and then hit the ball, and then just a turn. That's have to be give good, more turn this way. A good off season thing to work on. Hmm. So stage three, stage three, again, try to use uh, your left arm a bit more. And instead of pulling the right arm down, just to try to move the hands in such a way that, that the right elbow clears your body, move in front of your body. Again. So. I was lacking Mm. So try again. Let me watch your swing plane. Yeah. So your elbow is here. Uh -huh. So that's that's uh, why your club is moving up like this here. With this position, it's hard to bring down here. So your goal now is swing and try to move the hands closer to your body, and the more turn this way. So let's start from the trigger. When you do the trigger motion, go a bit flatter here. Go flatter. From, if you start uh, backswing from here, you have to go a bit more this way here. And then swing again. So yeah, go flat. Last month or so, I got in the habit of going this way a little bit, my backswing. Hmm. So uh, try to uh, have a bit flatter trigger this way, and then see how it goes. So in order to change the whole thing, you have to start from the trigger motion. Yeah. What did that change? Yeah, your hands are coming more this way here. Yeah. And, and how does the shape change back here? So if, if your elbow is here, uh -huh. and then the hands has to move out, uh -huh. because it's stuck here, you're swinging going that way. But if your hands are coming this way here, it means you already cleared it. Uh -huh. And they're coming this way. Uh -huh. So you can use this turn better. Again, so start with the trigger, more uh, flatter trigger. Hmm. That get me to go more around my body that way too? So that will bring the backswing a bit more lateral direction instead of going backward. Oh, okay. yeah. Now again, start with the flat uh, trigger. Uh, try, to, try to put your arm straighter at impact here. Instead of swinging like this, yeah. try to give more straighter yeah, right down. Like hmm. It's because your elbow is always in here. Again, flatter. Ah, still, it's a, when this happens, the club head moves up. You're going like this. Moves up one. So what happens is, um, so from, from here, uh -huh. just to come down, then it'll bring, you'll be able to bring it this way and then have a fairly straight arm position here. But if you come, if this stays close to the body, then swing becomes like this. And that impact, you cannot really keep the, uh, the arm straight. Oh, and then what comes, the club head kicks up? Yeah, so uh, here the club head becomes flat. The club head stays up here. Because you are here, your hands can only go out, 
and going into this position instead of more this position. So try to uh, uh, straighten your arm more yeah. after, the, after the impact. So let it go try to start up here, huh? instead of yeah, doing, doing this here. So try to throw the hands, throw the hands down and out more so that you can uh, extend your, your arms. Then you, uh, you have no obs obstruction. Yeah. But if you go here, then your body is blocking your arm motion. Yeah. I feel like I have to start it up here, straight to me. Mm. Maybe, maybe that's yeah, true. so instead of dropping, instead of pulling it this down, let it go. Yeah. Yeah. Again, good trigger and the faster backswing. Uh, again. So, so what happens is um, your upper body tends to, to turn uh -huh. too, too, too early. Yeah, too early. Yeah. It's coming this way. So essentially, at impact, your upper, upper body position is here. Just feel like it's more square. Uh, and then continue this motion instead of uh -huh. the, the shoulders are opening too early. It's almost like from top of the back swing, just throw my arms. Keep it closed and throw arms. Yeah. So if you have a good trigger motion, bring a good wind up here. And then just to bring it down. And then turn around. Instead of. Yeah. So again, it's a timing issue. The timing of a hand motion. Instead of, instead of turning the shoulder too much. Kind of a, I have to untrain that a little bit. Even when, when you practice, a lot of people do this. Yeah. This causes this problem. Instead, here, yeah. still the shoulders are fairly square uh -huh. to the target, or slightly open with the left side a bit higher. Impact here, and then continue this motion instead of then, so what's the argument against everybody who's like wants to be open to keep this club face square for long? So you can add uh, this rotation also. Uh -huh. So currently, when you let the hands go out, it's more about this rotation. Okay. But uh, when you have a good turn here, you have this rotation like added. Literally in your forearm? No, the, upper, the whole body. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then you'll have an overall fast rotation. So, so if you look at uh, some people that practice, like a Tiger Woods, for example, almost uh, on the way down, his hands are coming in quite a bit, yeah. swinging like this, because the hands are coming close to the body and he's turning the body well. But nowadays, mostly what we see is this motion here. Yeah. So again, slow down the shoulder op uh, opening, uh -huh. and then try to let the hands go out. Throw the hands. And the yeah. So basically, we need to use the whole body, right? So the, the motion is initiated by the lower body, and then your upper body, trunk, and then the shoulders, and the arms, and club in a sequence. Mm -hmm. But the, in doing that, if the timing is not right, so uh, if the, the shoulder turns too much early, then it's uh, basically dragging, so you will not be able to add the arm motion that well. So you should have this good shoulder and body turn here, but then add the arm motion here. So when you give good arm motion here, actually the body will slow down. Also you have a stable finish. But if you go here, then your body is moving this way, so you have to slide here, make a room here. That's why you cannot use the left leg that way. But if you uh, let, let it go and then throw the arms, you'll be able to kick the ground, throw the arms, add the arm motion, and wrist the motion.
Uh, let me give you an analogy. Yeah. So this is uh, the so-called one-arm drill. So when you uh, keep uh, your club on your shoulder, and uh, try to throw this nicely here. But now, if the timing is not right, there, there are two possibilities. One, if you turn the shoulder too much, this happens. Yeah. Yeah. So if you get rid of the right arm and only use the left arm here, if the shoulder turns too much, this happens. Or if the arm is activated too early, then you'll go like this. But if you have good timing, then using the body here, yeah, and then let it go here. But if you uh, turn the body too much, then it goes this way, and your arm is actually too early, then you don't have time to shift, and then so the weight is mostly on the right side, and then your arm is active here. So you have to match the timing. So then the same thing. So you just, mm, mm. Disperses. Something is not right. Yeah. And or, yeah. yeah. So you need to find the good timing. That's why uh, you know, over rotating the shoulder causes trouble in terms of timing. Yeah. Then you have this motion. But if the timing is right, so try to throw your arms actively. As if uh, currently your swing pattern is good, a faster back swing, and on the way down. Try to use your arm more. Try to swing your arms, see how it goes. You see? That's better, right? yeah. yeah, the sound is very different now. Yeah. So you have to really use the whole body, but by doing this, you are actually downplaying the arm motion, the roll of the arms, because you are turning the chest too much. And it's stuck here. But on the way down, with the good trigger here, good wind up, you naturally use your shoulders already. So from there, if you try to swing your arms, yeah. you're adding the arms. Again, it's just a matter of uh, using the arms more actively. Yeah. After initiating the motion with the body. Yes. Then what happens is your, your lower body is not turning too much. What happens is the, the, the muscles between the arms and body, Connected. they are fired. Uh -huh. Then when they try to accelerate the arms, they will decelerate the body mm -hmm. because the force is acting in both directions. Mm -hmm. So naturally, your body will uh, slow down while your arms are accelerated. Yeah. So on the way down, all you need to pay attention is use the arms more actively. Yeah. 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 Throw the arms actively. Yes. So for that, for that you have to wait a bit more. Yeah. So that you are ready for this action here. But if you go here, yeah. if, if you rush, then you are going into this position. Yeah. That, that's sometimes when I try to swim harder, my speed doesn't necessarily go up because I feel it's more efficient. Yeah, you think you are putting a lot of effort, but actually the speed is not that much. It's because of that. So again, on the way down, try to Throw the arms. Mm. Yeah. So let it go so that your hands stay relatively close to your body and the turn this way. Good. Okay. Instead of dragging. Yeah. Again. Throw the throw the arms. Still the turning the shoulder a bit uh, too early. So make sure when you start the downswing, your, your back is toward the target, and then bring the hands down. So uh, from here, Im imagine that you're bringing the hands down here, uh -huh. swing through, instead of opening the chest early. Keep the chest closed. Mm -hmm. Again, and also, instead of just the uh, swing and the here stopping, try to have more bigger motion here, all the way. 
through. That way you have to use uh, the arms better. Again. That's a big tra I gotta train away from this so much. So particularly when you use uh, your recentering motion, good. Then what happens is go here, shift away, and then recenter. While you are recentering, you keep the shoulders closed. You don't open early. But if you don't have this recentering motion, we don't have enough time. That what happens is. You have to quickly come down this way. And then by kicking the ground with the left leg, left leg and the let it go. So the left leg action has to drive the upper body turn. Instead of turning the shoulders intentionally. Again. Again. Oh, let's do this. On the way down, try to uh, reduce your effort to about 80% of uh, your current effort. But instead, just uh, put more effort in the wind up. Good wind up. Yeah, and then uh, on the way down, actually go a bit easier. Okay? Put more effort in the back swing. Again. Uh, just, you just uh, turned the lower body, but you didn't really lower the body and then kick. Yeah. Let's go to a horizontal swing. Let's go to horizontal swing. Still here, when you do this, this is going, yeah. it's dragging, right? So go here, and by kicking the ground, let it go. Uh -huh. kick and throw the arms. The arms, the hands should go in front of your body. Hmm. Not putting the right side in, but rather from here, throw the left side out. Okay. okay. So from here, throw left side out instead of right, putting the right side in. Okay. Well, I'm afraid if I throw the left side out, then I'm going to turn too early. Hey. No? On the contrary, really? you will see. Yeah. Try to use the left side more and see how it goes. How about that? <laughs> so what happens is um, you can actually do this slow in slow motion. Go slow and then using the left side in the drawing versus go here and then right side pulling. Uh -huh. When you pull the right side, actually your shoulder turn. Oh really? Earlier, yeah. Uh -huh. So yeah. Throw. I, I do notice that. So there's one, one feeling that I have when I hit the ball really good. This from the top, I feel like this initiates the movement right here. That's almost my first move down. Mm. Well, why is that that this feeling the left side doesn't turn as much, but the right side turns more? Because what happens is, uh, in order to pull this, it is a pulling action. Uh -huh. When you pull, you cannot just go up here and then pull like this. What happens is, pull and uh -huh. your, your lower body turns here. That's why this opens automatically. But in order to use the left side and then pull the arm in the club here, the load is acting on the left side. You cannot easily just uh, turn mm. because of the... You almost have to stay close in this. In this, mm -hmm. this. So all the way down, try to use the left side more. Instead of, instead, instead of uh, pulling the right side down. Yeah. Better? Mm. And then that effort should be supported by the, your yeah, lower body. Was, was, so instead of just the turning here, you're really using the lower body and then try to pull. So as if uh, when you uh, make a free throw, you can certainly just uh, anchor here and then only use the arms if you have strong arms. <laughs> but, but if it's not a free throw and you have to make a three-pointer, you have to use your leg first and then add arm motion. So you need to use a your legs better. Use the legs first and then throw. And also, oh no. 
already this is done here. Uh -huh. From here, kick the ground and then just the turn. Uh -huh. What you just did was this motion here. Instead, this is already done. Instead of here. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. Yeah. The shift is uh, late. Uh -huh. But when you have a shift early, early. the recentering is early. Yeah. All you need is to uh, push the ground with the left leg and then turn. Turn the left shoulder. Again. So as you are swing, the, uh, as you turn the upper body, you really have to develop the feel of your lower body supporting this. If the lower body is driving this instead of the upper body action only. But now, okay, let's go to uh, stage three again. Let's do stage three and do your regular swing. Stage three, followed by your regular swing without hitting the ball for the moment. So use the stage three as your pre-shot routine. And then try to do a regular swing. And then try to take advantage of the rhythm in your regular swing, okay? So stage three first. Mm -hmm. So this time, without hitting the ball, you're regular swing. Remember that rhythm. You have to come up with something similar. Yeah. So you are starting the back swing with the initial shift. Yeah. That's good. But give a more turn here. So by pushing the ground and bigger back swing and then recentering should be done during the back swing. So again, stage three. Stage three first, use the stage three as your pre-shot routine. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when you do a stage three, remember that flow, take advantage of that in your regular swing. Again, stage three and the regular swing. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then have a bit more time. Have a bit more time here and then let it go. No need to rush. So at the end of the back swing, have enough time and then go down. Uh, you can take a bit more time. More time. Yeah. So currently, still you have a tendency of rushing down. Yeah. You, if you have a bit more time here, then you will see that your dancing will be a lot more active, mm -hmm. a lot more comfortable. So from your mm, mm, motion is fast, but you have a mature yeah. transition here. Mm. <coughs> so when you have more time here, your lower body will be able to prepare. So shift the ends lower squat and the shift, then let it go. Mm. But if uh, the transition is uh, rushed, then your lower body has the, has, does not have enough time to do that. Yeah. So the bottom line is when you do the downswing, you should really be able to push the ground with the left leg. Yeah. Mm. So again, okay, stage three as your pre-shot routine. Keep the, keep the back toward the target at the top. Again. So the recentering motion doesn't have to be a lot. Uh -huh. it's, it's, as, as it says, uh, it's a recentering. <laughs> that means you shift away uh -huh. and just coming back to pretty much where you are. Is that too much that time? I think you're trying to shift it too much. No. Mm. Yeah, so you should be able to use your left leg and then try to swing. Yeah. So again, so let's do the stage three. Forget about anything. Okay. Uh, you don't have to worry about all these things. In stage three, just to keep in mind that you have active trigger Active back swing, and then just to have enough time here. Break. 
So the speed is coming from good winder. Okay. Yes. You see, when you have an active backswing, automatically you are using your right leg. Yeah. Again, stage three. That was really good. So using the trigger motion, try to have an active uh, backswing and wind up. Yes. So when that happens, you are not really sliding this, this way too much. Uh -huh. Your backswing is big enough. Uh -huh. So that's really good. That motion is really good. So all you need to pay attention to is just to have active backswing, and this is just large enough uh, backswing. Stage three. Or? Uh, stage three. Again, you could go a bit more active uh, in terms of the right leg action. Right leg. Mm. Again. Yeah, now everything is so natural, so uh, you can come and immediately do this mm -mm. because uh, the rhythm is uh, getting more natural for you. So now stage three and your regular swing. Mm -hmm. And the regular swing. Yeah, so let me record this. Stage three and regular. Yeah, one more time. Now I'll record. Ready, go. Mm -hmm. And the regular swing. Mm -hmm. And the regular swing. Okay, stage three and the regular. Ready, go. See how much you go in the back swing. Right hand is taller than baby. This is the initial swing. It's a fairly upper body driven. Now the floor is a lot better. Now, so let's do a stage three and now a regular swing with the ball. Stage three again. Stage three will serve as your pre-shot routine. So feel the rhythm. And then you're hitting the ball in your regular swing, okay? So you, you, will, do, you will do something as your pre-shot routine, right? So this stage three is actually really good for that. And then it doesn't have to be really big. If you just want to feel the rhythm, then it could be just... Mm -hmm. So feel that rhythm. That backswing is really good, and then you have to come up with that kind of backswing during the real swing. 